Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video I will be cleaning my computer su power supply. So recently my fan has stopped working so uh, when I turn on my computer I have to use a small uh, ball pen refill to spin this a little bit so that it can spin but still it is not spinning at the proper speed and every time I turn my computer off it doesn't uh, the fan doesn't spin. So because of the dust it is completely clogged up. And also we are approaching or almost in the beginning of summer season and the temperature uh, will rise a little more so i think this is uh, the right time to clean up uh, the power supply from inside so this is my zebronix power supply i got this for 500 rupees i think it's more than a year old now so without any further delay let's just open this and uh, clean this up so as you can see at the bottom of the power supply there are four screws one two three four so let me just open them up first. I'm using a small uh, screwdriver. So all the screws are now open let me take this uh, cover out so you can see that this cover will come out like this after you take this out you can put this aside and you can see that at the moment the power supply is not that dirty because i cleaned it uh, about a few months ago but apparently the fan uh, keeps on getting clogged with uh, dust and it stops working so we need to re-lubricate it and clean this a little bit so let me just get the fan out first to get the fan out you will have to open this screw which is holding the fan in and then this screw which is again holding the fan in so let me just get these two screws out this one that's one screw out And that's another screw out. So let's take the fan out. So you can see the fan is now out. You can see it is not rotating. I'm not sure what is stopping the fan. I think we need to re-lubricate it because as per the appearance it doesn't look that uh, dusty. So let me just open the cover up and uh, let us clean this up a little bit and put some new lubrication in so to re-lubricate it just simply take this cover out so before you take this cover out we need to uh, remove the dust from the top using a, a paint brush so i've got a paint brush here so let me just uh, clean the fan as much as i can from the other side as well and because we've just opened the power supply it's a good idea to give uh, our power supply in a little clean as well just so that you can also use compressed air but compressed compressed air is expensive we don't have that that should be good enough now let let us remove the sticker from the fan once you remove the sticker from the fan you will see that there will uh, a small uh, rubber uh, washer that is stopping any debris from getting inside so make sure you keep this safe and now we can see what is happening inside our fan so let me bring in a flashlight so that we can see i hope you can see that the fan is completely dried up from the inside and again if i try to rotate this it is not spinning properly now i don't have a proper lubrication at the moment so i will just be using some uh, gear oil or any kind of thin synthetic oil that you have don't use grease because grease is very thick uh, it will get clogged up very quickly so I hope you can see that inside the fan there is this small clip and there is our fan shaft which rotates so first we need to remove that uh, white colored clip using a needle or any uh, type of a thin screwdriver 
so what i will be using uh, this is this type of bit uh, i got this in a screwdriver you can also use any kind of needle so let me just take that uh, out all right guys so i couldn't do this uh, with the screwdriver i had to use a small needle so i was able to take this out with the needle let me take this out so this is how it looks now let me show you what how you actually take this out because it's a little difficult to look in the hole filled with grease anyways so you can see there is a small joint on this uh, ring so what you do is you use a needle and push the right portion down and lift the left portion up by inserting this in this uh, seam and once you do that this will come up and then you rotate your needle and that's how it come out so this is how you take this ring out so first we need to clean this ring i will be using a little bit of uh, uh, alcohol so our ring is now kind of cleaned let's put our ring on the side now once the ring is out we can easily take the shaft out and as you can see our rotating shaft just came out without any problem so first we need to clean this up with the alcohol we will also clean this part with the alcohol so let me just do that you can also use a small uh, cloth or tissue paper now i will use a little bit of cloth to clean this off with with some old grease and there was this small wash washer so make sure it stays there I think that looks clean let's do the same with our stator so I will spray a little bit of alcohol in there with my blocking the hole from the other side with my finger so that the alcohol gets filled up I think that's enough now we can take our rag use the screwdriver in the hole and rotate this like that or you could also use a small pen refill because it is almost the same size of the uh, rotating shaft i think it looks uh, clean now let's do the same from the other side alcohol again using the uh, ball pen refill to insert it in the hole and then i will rotate this inside I think it's decently cleaned now I will use this bottle of empty uh, body lotion which I can squeeze when I squeeze this uh, compressed air come out of this like that and I can clean the hole with the compressed air not necessary not really a compressed air but it works like a rocket cleaner let me do this from the other side as well Let me clean the power supply with this as well. Yeah. 
now everything is cleaned so i will use this machine oil sewing machine oil to lubricate this so first i will lubricate my main shaft with a little bit of oil i think that's enough let it go there and i will add a little bit of air in this as well i think that's enough let's put this back together make sure there is no uh, no strands of hair or no strands of uh, fabric or cloth it went down like that and now as you can see previously it wasn't spinning now it's spinning really nice i'm not sure how well this will work over time but we will see whether it's a good lubrication for a cabinet fan or a cpu fan so let me just put in my clip as you can see we uh, took this clip out so to take put this back in all you have to do is drop it in like that so the clip is now in but it will not go uh, down properly so what you what you will do is you will either press it with a pen or any kind of screwdriver but it will still not go in because if you press it from one side the other side will come up if you press it from that side the other side will come up so you will have to press it down evenly and to press it down evenly you can use this small empty pen like this so that it will go down evenly press it down and as you can see it went down very easily and now if i rotate this it's rotating properly so let's put back the cover that we took out in the beginning this is there is this rubber grommet that stops any dust from entering align this up like that once the sticker is on just put the fan back in from where we took it out make sure uh, the orientation orientation is correct so fan is in place align the holes so that we can screw this properly so you can see the holes are now aligned on both the side take the bigger screw that we took out in the beginning and start screwing them back that's one let's do the other one as well they don't have to be super tight but just make sure that they are all the way in and let me rotate my fan again so that you can see you can see now it is rotating properly let's put back the cover on before you put the cover back on clean this with the rag as well now sometime when people are putting this uh, cap back on they forget this orientation of this cap so to get the correct orientation all you will have to do is find the sticker the warranty sticker uh, as you can see this is the warranty sticker simply match it with the uh, hood so as you can see if i put this like there there is no sticker here but if i flip this you can see that this is the sticker that will match up with that so this is how you can figure out uh, what is the correct orientation of this uh, top cap so let me put this on now when you putting the cap on make sure that the top cap goes uh, under the bottom part like so let's make sure we do the same from the other side the top goes under like that and now we can screw back the screw that we took out in the beginning so here we got the screws let me put that back on
all right our power supply is cleaned let's put back in the computer and see how it runs all right our power supply is now installed let me just make sure that our socket is completely in which it is let me turn the computer on and let's see whether the fan spins properly or not and as you can see it just spins really smoothly and it also blowing decent amount of air so you can probably feel the speed of the fan it's spinning at almost very good speed and now my computer should be good enough for the next coming uh, summer season so that's how i clean my power supply and that that's how you can lubricate your computer power supply uh, fan thanks for watching i will see you in the next video Bye-bye.